there's a lot of episodes, so I think I'm gonna do a few in each video. Because first I just started with the first chapter, which was fun. But we are going to continue. Chapter three. OMG, thank God you're back. As Angie's just sitting in the dark, <laughs> waiting for Wendy to come back. You're back. It's time to start the ritual. We seriously need to look good for this party. Uh, we need to make sure we wear clothes this time. <laughs> Do you not have a cold? You you went naked the entire day. Ooh, a new set of choices. Hip, classy, and smart. Since we did smart, what if we go to the smart sorority though? We should probably do smart, right? Oh, it's at least a new set. Let me just find something I can wear. Since it's dark in here anyway, I have to close my eyes and I'm just gonna pick what I feel. <laughs> Whatever it is, I have to wear it. All right, now that we both look hot, let's go. Wait, I don't even get it. I don't even get to look at the other ones. Wait, I got an email from Hayes earlier. I should go see if he's here. Come on, let's just go to the party. I wanna get there before all the hotties are taken. You really like that word. Aha! See? The smart one. I mean, it makes sense that we, we've we been like digging on the smart one, so let's go to the smart one. I'm really interested in Upsilon Beta Lambda. It would help me at least with my grade point average, at least. <laughs> you head out to the Upsy... Uh, upsy. You head out to the Upsy party. Oopsie! Well, this place kind of looks like Hogwarts. Really? Does it, Angie? <laughs> Especially that car outside. Mmm, very Hogwarts. Ha, huh, yeah, a lot of books, but I like it. And I still haven't learned the meaning of personal space. Nice to meet you, Charlotte. I love your place. Is that Hagrid doing a keg st- Never mind. I must say you're looking very studious tonight. Definitely, I like your ensemble. <laughs> She's carrying around a whole bunch of instruments. Thank you! I'm a one-woman show, ready at any time. We'll see you in a few minutes. As we synchronize walk out the door. Hey, I'm Victor. Oh, hey, I'm Wendy. Wendy, that's a beautiful name. So is Victor? I mean, that feels kind of weird. Just like, I, Victor's a nice name and all. Sure. I feel weird saying that. <laughs> We're just gonna say, um, thanks. Haha, <laughs> um, thanks. Oh, are you a little shy? That's cute. Okay. So I haven't seen you around here before. Are you new? I'm a new pledge, um, potentially. Oh, nice. Charlotte may seem like a bookworm, and, well, she is one, but she also definitely has an eye. Ah, uh, yes, she definitely has eyes. But most importantly, the eye. Every time a new pledge comes, she has to study them, judge them. See if they're worthy. For the hottest new pledges, of course. Flirt back, play it cool, roll your eyes. I don't want to flirt back with Victor. Let's be sassy. Um, getting a little forward there, aren't you? Well, you only live once, and I'm known as quite a winner around here. You need a new definition of win because my loser sense is tingling. I didn't expect it to go that sassy. Jeez, Wendy. Oh, <gasps> Victor, what? What are you doing? I knew it. I knew my ick senses were tingling. Oh, Jane, hi. I'm just talking with the new pledge. He's a sleaze. Talking? That's not what I would call it. You may want to think twice about this one. I, uh, it's complicated. It's complicated. Victor was here with me, but maybe it's he and I that need to talk. Yeah, Jane, I don't know. I don't know about this one, but I don't have time for that now. My job is to meet you guys. I'm the Epsilon Beta Lambda Pledge Director. I get to determine the suitability of our candidates. Wow, good thing I let her know about Victor. All right, Wendy, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, Wendy. <laughs> Just answer the best and most accurately you can. How many planets are in our solar system? Oh no. I mean, everyone. Everyone has the opinion of whether it's eight or nine. Which is the most correct? Because I, I love Pluto. I think Pluto deserves a place. Mm -hmm. with nine. No! Not Pluto! My poor baby. False. Pluto is no longer recognized as a planet. But why not? I think he's earned his place. Yeah, but I learned as a kid and Pluto has a spot in my heart. You and me both, Wendy. Sentimentality has no place in science. I mean, like, in a way, sure, but like, also, have you seen scientists? They had the Mars rover sing happy birthday to itself. No sentimentality? I think not! There was also a group of scientists that saw a really adorable jellyfish and named it, like, Adorabilis Octopus, I don't know, something like that. Like, they named it something cute because it was cute. <laughs> Moving on, which U.S. president was the most important and why? Lincoln abolishing slavery, Kennedy the space race, Van Buren sideburns. Pretty obvious. Um, human rights. <laughs> Predictable, but not inaccurate. I mean, that's pretty dang important. Um, I don't need to say more. <laughs> Final question. Blasphemy is to religion as treason is to... 
have I ever heard this quote? Blasphemy in religion. I feel like it's either government or the constitution. Maybe it's government. I'm gonna say government. <gasps> I got it right! I am the smartest. Well, we'll be having another party Thursday. And you should come, assuming you want us to consider you. Though, to be honest, I think you've got a great shot. That's when you notice another text message. Is it from Hayes? I knew it. I guess you're not around. Did we never answer him? I'm sorry. Anyway, there was a tall guy at your door. Ugh. When I asked him who he was, he said, why don't you ask her the same question? <laughs> He's just standing there like, I mean, I know who she is. Who are you? That's the question I'm asking. It's like, quit being dramatic. Just answer the question. Thanks for the heads up, Hayes. Can't talk right now, but we'll find you tomorrow. Hi, Angie. Oh, what? Oh, that's a cup. I didn't even know what that was. I know, just eating a hockey puck. <laughs> hey, girl, everything okay? Ugh, not exactly. I think there's someone on campus stalking me, but I'm getting a little scared. What? I, I think... I think Hayes... <laughs> I think Hayes might know more about it. I have to go find him. You've reached the end of chapter three. <laughs> Time to get a good night's sleep. My phone says as it sends a jolt through my fingers that knocks me out. No, it's like in Mission Impossible when when smoke starts coming from the device. It is smoke, but it's like a sleeping gas. <laughs> Time to get a good night's sleep, Amanda. Go to sleep. Chapter four. After another restless night and a long day of classes, my three-hour classes, you and Angie head back to your dorm. I had eight straight hours of class today. Oh. Sounds about right, though. I should see if I can track down Hayes. No, girl, you should be doing homework. I need to ask him about my stalker. I wonder who that guy was he saw. Mystery. As your mind wanders, you notice someone playing guitar on the quad. Ooh. The romance. <laughs> Where's the guitar? <laughs> it's just air guitar. Oh, I don't think I've seen him around the dorm before. Hi, sorry, I didn't mean to stare. Or did I? <laughs> no worries, so what did you think? Huh? Of what? The song. You were obviously listening. Oh, that was really pretty. Oh, it wasn't quite my thing. We'll just say, oh, that was really pretty. Let's compliment him. Oh, that was really pretty. Thanks, I wrote it myself. It's called Pit Stain. <laughs> I would love to hear a song called Pit Stains. <laughs> and we called it pretty. <laughs> I went to the gym and it caused me to get pit stains. I know it's natural, but it's driving me insane. I use deodorant, but it never goes away. These pit stains. I'm Byron. I'm Wendy. Wendy, where? Oh no, is he singing? Wendy, Wendy. Uh, give me a minute. I'll think of something to rhyme with it. You are so trendy. Come on, Byron. If I can do it, you can do it. So I'm assuming you're a music major? Me? Nah. I don't want anyone else teaching me how to do my thing. I'm undeclared. What about you? Law. Yikes. Lameville. Ah, yes. Ultimate flirting. Calling the major someone's probably passionate about Lameville. Fantastic. So what's your favorite type of music? I like folk and acoustic stuff. Okay, so we have your sensitive side. Well, you're not beating down people in the courtroom. He starts singing a really pretty song. I got my pit stains. <laughs> As you're talking to Byron, Hayes comes out of the dorm. <gasps> the other love interest. Oh, Hayes. Oh, Hayes. <laughs> just walks back. I'm not dealing with this today. Hi, is this a friend of yours? Yeah, I mean, we just met. Okay, but I have to let you know, it's quiet hours. Quit singing about your pit stains! <laughs> You're making a lot of really loud noise. Noise? Don't you mean music? Listen, man, I'm the RA of this hall, and whoa, guys, listen. The classic, the one, <laughs> the woman calms down the two men about to fight. Hayes, sorry for making noise. Byron, nice to meet you, but I really need to talk to Hayes. And then I've got about a thousand hours of homework, and then I need to figure out how to get into a sorority. You're joining a sorority? Why do you look so disappointed? I was in a sorority, and it was really fun. It's, uh, like band service. Like, we'd help out stuff with the marching band or concert bands. Just do whatever we need to, like, help out, raise fundraisers. Raise fundraisers. <laughs> do fundraisers. Um, have parties. You know, it was fun. Which one? I mean, probably the smart one, right? I mean, the classy ones, like, hated us. <laughs> I'm thinking about Upsy. Brilliant choice. They've got a great reputation for academics. And their parties are actually really fun, too. That's the nerd sorority. The nerds, huh? <laughs> actually caring about your future does not make you a nerd. Okay, Hayes. I appreciate 
the passion, but maybe you were just the one yelling at us for quiet hours. The rules apply to thee, but not to me. Ha, okay, dad. I mean, he is kind of dressed like a dad, which is not an insult. My husband also dresses like a dad, and I like it. Anyway, Hayes, I know it's late, but do you have time to talk now? Okay, Wendy, let's head back to the dorm. <laughs> As he's staring down the guy, starts backing up slowly, glaring at Byron. <laughs> so who is this guy outside my door? I didn't get his name and I hadn't seen him before. But he was tall, white, looks like he could be a senior. But dressed nice, like really nice. Expensive. I've got money from a mob boss, don't I? And he didn't leave me anything? A note? No, Wendy, I don't like this. There shouldn't be strange guys at your door. I mean, I agree. I'm worried about you, not just as your RA. <gasps> what do you mean? Are you saying we're friends too or getting jealous? I don't feel like jealousy is appropriate. Why would he be jealous of someone stalking her? I feel like <laughs> the friends one <laughs> makes way more sense. Of course we're friends. Maybe eventually we could be more than that. Ooh, bold. I like it. Well, thanks for letting me know about this. I'll have to be careful. Wait, Wendy, Wendy. He just low-key confessed to you. You're not gonna say anything? Seriously, Wendy, a secret note, mystery visitor. What's this all about? I don't know, I have a secret, nothing, bye. We don't even know what the secret is. I have no idea. To be honest, I don't know. Well, maybe you better find out. You've reached the end of chapter four. Oh no, not the knockout gas again. Now we're getting into the meat of it. All right, we got time for one more. Chapter five. You spent the night tossing and turning once again, and waking up with the silhouette of a mysterious man in your mind. Ugh. No, thank you. Who's this mystery guy looking for me? Are you sleeping in a skirt? I guess depending on the skirt, that would be pretty comfortable. I don't know if the university releases that stuff. This is creepy. As you start to think it over, you notice. Angie looks a little upset. I would say more than a little. She's crying into our hands. Just say nothing. All right. I wonder if she's okay. Do you think she's okay? Should I say something? I have enough of my own drama. I Wendy, she's upset. Ask her about it. Hey, Angie, is everything okay? Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, not really. It's Justin. What did he do? I'll go beat him up. I thought you weren't still dating that guy. No, I'm not. No way. So you broke up? Sort of. Girl. Cut him off. He does not deserve access. How do you sort of break up with someone? But well, he doesn't really understand that. That's a huge red flag. And he gets mad when I try to remind him of it. Cut him off! Angie, does he just get mad or does he threaten you? Because that's really serious. Oh no, nothing like that. I mean, I'm glad, but like, tell him to get lost maybe? <laughs> He's a good guy, he just has a temper is all. Angie, you're probably being too nice here. I mean, he clearly has some issues which he needs to go address and heal by himself. I don't know, he just doesn't sound like a good guy. He sounds worse than he is, I swear. Angie! Hey, can you do me a huge favor? If Justin drops by when I'm not here looking for me, can you just like cover for me? Sure, I don't like lying to people, we should be calling the police. I mean, we should probably be calling the police, right? Like, if he's like literally kind of stalking you, go with that one. Oh no, please don't do that. I'm sorry, I'm just overreacting. Justin's fine, he's just pushy, he doesn't get that when we're just friends. Maybe you shouldn't be his friend. I think you need to cut him off. Angie, this makes me really uncomfortable. Wendy, it'll be fine, I promise. Bro, He'll get over it. He's just a little dramatic, that's all. Anyway, I have to get to class. Okay, see you later. You get to your law class. Hey, lady. What kind of pickup line is that? Hey, lady. Hello! Ugh, swoon! So did you explain things to your girlfriend or did she finally dump you? Wow, Wendy, just coming in with the heat. Well, girlfriend? Oh, you mean Jane? Sorry, she likes to tease if she thinks I like a girl. We're just really good friends. Didn't seem like it to me, pal. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Liar. What do you mean? You're not just wondering anything. You like the Vic. <sighs> the Vic? Me, the Vic. You do. You're inquiring about my romantic prospects. Well, are you from the 1800s? Leave me alone, sir. <laughs> it's okay. Falling for my charms is a pretty common practice here at Lockwood. <laughs> I bet it is. But that's not why I ask. 
I'm not falling for the Vic. No offense. I don't know, based on how Wendy talks to him, it she seems to mean offense. <laughs> I'll give you time. Ew. <laughs> Are you really this cocky or is it an act? I don't know. What do you think? I think I don't want to find out. <laughs> do you want it to be an act? Um, he's merciless. Well, so are you, apparently. I was asking because I need to stay friendly with the pledge director. I have a feeling you flirting with me might undermine my chances. Oh, is that what you think I'm doing? How is that not what you're doing? <laughs> sort of, yeah. <laughs> but don't worry about that. Why? The sisters are going to take you. They'd be stupid not to. That's the first genuine thing he said in this entire conversation. As for me and her, I promise. Victor is completely unattached. And it's gonna stay that way. That's good news. Not sure I believe you. I am not giving this man any chance. I am not interested. <laughs> not sure I believe you. He's kind of shady. Yeah. Whoa. Well, you're lost. <laughs> sure, buddy. You believe what you want. Anyway, we better get to class. Is it the three hour class again? Yeah, I wouldn't want to distract you any more than I already do. All right. I'm trying to take great notes all during class. You have to keep your grades up. Later, as class is wrapping up, you find that someone has passed you a note. Wait, it has my name on it. Yeah, probably, if they passed it to you. Dear Wendy, I really want to talk to you. Meet me at the water fountain at 5 p.m. Ooh, mystery. Wow. Victor wouldn't send me a note, he's sitting right next to me. This must be from the guy who's looking for me. You've reached the end of chapter five. You've got four more classes ahead of you. <laughs> and better you than me. Next chapter will begin when class is over. Like I've mentioned, my goal is to finish this entire story, although there's over a hundred episodes. <laughs> so we'll see how far I make it. I hope you're doing well, but if not, I hope this video has brightened your day at least a little bit. I appreciate you guys very much, and I'm so grateful that you show up to these videos and watch them and hang out with me. Let me know if you like what you see, and I think that will be it for now. Give yourself some love, go be good humans, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!